Ah, the perfect morning. It's 6 a.m. and you are waking up for the first time on your new boat. The sun is just breaching the horizon. You're tired, but soon filled with joy, realizing that this is the first morning of your new life. You peel the covers away to feel the brisk morning. Slip your shoes on and head out for a walk. The creaking of the dock beneath your feet. When you return, you find a family of otters bathing in a patch of sun near your boat. They look so content with you being a near three feet away. All of a sudden you smell coffee brewing in the air remembering that you had started a pot before you left. You hop on your boat, pour yourself a cup, grab your favorite book, and head up to the sun deck. So immersed in your book, you let time slip away. The rays have now made their way up to your sun deck. You look up from your book, feeling the warmth on your skin. The boat still swaying, the dock still creaking, the otters still bathing. With a smile on your face, you tell yourself, this is the perfect morning. Your neighbor is now beginning to rise, coming up to enjoy a beautiful morning on their sun decks as well. You look across to give a proud wave to your two closest neighbors, Fred and John. Of course, it's not the same Fred from the other video, because, well, Fred was a snowman, and snowmen don't like sunshine or water. Also, me and snowman Fred didn't even get along, so why on earth would I even be waving at him in the first place? Well, now you have me second-guessing my neighbor's names. Was it Fred or John? Or was it Bob or Charlie? Ah, oh, whatever. It's my story anyways. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why I would like to buy a liveaboard boat. Now let me tell you which boat I would like to buy. Um, I would like a power boat, something like that. I would like it a little bit newer. That boat right now is like $27,000. So I would want to kind of pay right around 50 to 70 give or take so a little bit newer but kind of that same exact layout you know nothing too big so you can kind of get into all the marinas and, and get into all the certain spots plus you have to pay more per footage if you moor it like uh, like in a slip like this um, so the smaller it is the the cheaper it is basically I mean I'd really like that boat but I don't think I'll be able to afford that boat anytime soon and I was looking at sailboats for a long time, but uh, I think for what I want it for, a power boat would be best. When I first got into the market, I wanted a sailboat. And the reason I wanted a sailboat is um, for traveling the world. You know, you have uh, wind power and that saves you a bunch of money in fuel and it's just quiet. You know, sailing has such a romantic vibe to it. But then I started thinking, well, do I really want to travel the world? And the answer as of right now, I can see myself in the future wanting to, but the answer right now is, is no. Um, I honestly don't. I want to live on a boat, I want to live on the water, and I want to explore all of these beautiful little islands. And so that's what I want right now. And uh, so I decided that I wanted a power boat because the thing that you um, get with a power boat is yes, you have to start your, your, your engines up and you burn more fuel, but you can get places like now. Like if I wanted to go over there, 
I could get there now rather than oh where's the wind direction and you know tacking all the way there and so uh, another reason that I would choose a power boat is because of the living quarters so you have a little bit more space and you'll notice in a power boat sometimes you have two or three floors and those floors are above water so a lot of natural sunlight comes in Whereas a sailboat, you're kind of like half under the water because obviously your sails take up a lot of space uh, above you. And uh, I just get a little bit of a better feeling and vibe when I'm on a powerboat. And I think it's a lot of that natural light coming in. Whereas when I'm a sailboat, I don't want to say the word claustrophobic because sailing is truly beautiful and I, I know that I would really enjoy it. But I just get a little bit of a darker feeling. And so... Uh, so yeah, I hope that I answered that question. Power boat, live on water, fish, go crabbing. I know I'm, I'm the best fisher as you guys know. And just having this as your backyard constantly. I mean, I kind of do live in the RV lifestyle, but constantly being on the water, that would just be incredible. So that my friends is why I want to live on a boat. I hope that you enjoyed the video. A little bit of a different intro, a little bit of a different video, just trying some new things out. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that you uh, keep living the dream. Have an, a, a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. And uh, and we got some more some more videos on the way. I, I comment in the uh, section below if you if you like that intro. If uh, you know, kind of that. That intro that makes you feel something, right? I, I, I really enjoy creating that kind of, uh, kind of content. So let me know what you think. All right, that's it for me, my friends. Take care of yourselves. Many more videos on the way. Until next time, bye-bye.